Folks, welcome back. My name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha Investments. Well, if you're joining me, um, you're either one of the 500 people who've blown up my email today or patron messages and regarding the breaking news of Magic the Gathering, Hasbro's Wizards of the West Coast, and the announcement of Cynthia Williams resigning as the head person of Wizards of the Coast. Um, boy, where do we start on this one? First, we'll report the news. The news is, and then we'll go into the Rudy memes and Rudy opinions. Uh, the news is, uh, Cynthia Williams is officially resigning, giving a two weeks notice. And, of course, everyone says everything's on great terms. Everybody gave hugs on the way out. Nothing negative. Hasbro and Watsy and Dr. Cox wish her a, a successful career, her next big step into the multiverse and all this. Okay, so now that, are we done with all that BS? Okay. So now that we've got the shit out of the way, the reality is uh, the company does not have a replacement person lined up. That immediately tells me that this was not planned. Let's get that out of the way first, just front and center. Positive thing. Um, they stated that they're looking for replacements to run Wizards of the Coast as the president, CEO, whatever names and narratives you want to put on it. Who cares? Uh, titles and things don't mean anything in this world. So I believe... Whatever name of CEO or new president of Wizards, these titles, it's all fairy dust. Um, clearly, there was irreparable differences within, and um, she ended up resigning. We'll never really know the true story. If you work at Wizards of the Coast, Alpha Investments LLC at gmail.com, I'd love to get some uh, information. Anonymous, of course. And when we report it, it is always an email to myself. I believe what's going on is simply put that they were not able to come to terms on how to navigate moving forward. I think Cynthia wanted to go in one direction. The data and things like that are not agreeing with the direction she wanted to go. And with the pushback between Dungeons & Dragons and, of course, Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering, all of these things were just a lot of tug-of-war as we discussed on this channel through Magic 30 a year ago, all the way through 2023 into 2024, as we discussed on this channel. If you fuck things up, you will pay the price. This is not surprising. Everybody is literally excited. I didn't know the woman. She could have been an amazing person. Doesn't mean anything. We don't really care about the personal situation. This is strictly a publicly traded company. This is something... That everybody knows from all over the multiverse that Hasbro, or I guess we're just focusing on Wizards, Wizards has tremendous problems. They are milking, they are absorbing secondary market card prices. It's making it more difficult for them to sell their increased price point asking prices. Because, well, if you, if you keep reprinting and knocking everything out with the secret layers and there's no expensive cards, how do you raise the price? But then when you raise the price, the cards aren't expensive then they don't sell the boxes, and then the boxes build up, and then they get backlogged, and then they become blue boxes, and everything gets back up, backed up, and then the market collapses, and then Cynthia, who used to come from Microsoft Gaming, and then worked at Philip Morris putting cigarettes, and then of course worked at Amazon, is supposedly, again, email to myself, responsible for the Amazon dumps and her ideas and different things. Like, you know, if you overprint... And you do not adjust. You will get fucked. This is what happened. We discussed this for the last year on this channel. And it finally happens. And everyone's going, huh, What the fuck am? This is, we discussed it. And we discussed it to no end. If you want to get all fancy calculus formula. If your rate of change is slower than the market's rate of acceptance. You will fail. So let's use let's, let's make a little bit let's let's paint a little bit more thicker some brighter colors in the painting. If you do not adjust your print runs and you do not go quick enough and the market is adjusting quicker than you, you will get fucked. So here we are in April of 2024, and Cynthia is ready for the next big thing in her life. Again, all positive, nothing negative. Cynthia is proud. Um, I would I would assume she left the corporate headquarters in either a private jet helicopter or limo or something and I even heard they give you like free Chick-fil-A in the limo it's kind of crazy uh, but I again according to the official press releases you will never hear anything negative 
because that's not how corporate and public PR, HR, and all these stupid things work in the real world. But essentially, all of this goes back to the management at the top. The most positive thing out of this whole situation is that there was a comment on these press releases stating that Wizards of the Coast wants to promote from within. I think that's fucking fantastic. The only thing better than that would be Rudy being brought in, which is, you know they hate me, so it's never going to happen. But promoting from within, hopefully someone, I don't give a shit how young or old they are, I don't care if they're a purple people eater, if they live on Pluto, still a planet, I don't give any shit about the person. They need to have the skill set and knowledge and be willing to handle the things that make you look like the bad guy and need to be said and done. Okay? Wizards of the Coast, as we went through a bear market and crash with Magic the Gathering, they did pivot. As we've seen in recent sets, print runs were adjusted lower, modifications were made on the cards that were being reprinted, power creep's a thing, but their slow to react change coming off the 2021 COVID boom did substantial damage to the company. The mass printing of secret layers, and again, now they're more limited. Their collector boxes are becoming collectible again kind of thing. We are seeing these slow, but they are so slow to react. Again, their reaction speed was too slow. Like, how do I say this? Okay. Like, the markets, the markets cutting, the downfall of the market was happening at such a fast rate of change. But the corporate dumb fucks were reacting so slow, they could never get in front of it. And because of that, the icing on the cake, Magic 30, and for some reason Mark Bottomwater, Middlewater, no, Bathwater. He's floating around somewhere with Rubber Duck. For some reason, they all thought it'd be a great idea to try to sell $1,000 four packs of a reprint of a collector's edition that they said they'd never do. And it was one of the biggest nuclear disasters in modern gaming magic history. And I have a hard time believing anything's ever really going to top that. So, to fast kind of step back from everything, um, it is the end of an era for Cynthia. Does that mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you all another piece of something you may not want to hear. In my opinion, her leaving is not really going to change very much. Okay, One person like that leaving is a good way maybe things could be tilting to a different, more responsible management and just kind of price points, print runs, all these things that are the very, oh God, oh God, my game pieces. You know, all this stuff is, you know, they're, well, they're supposed to have boards of directors, meetings, and they're supposed to have kind of a sum of all opinions and they make the best decisions. So they're supposed to do in companies. Whether that happens, I don't know. I believe <clears throat> the changes that are already taking place are going to continue forward. I don't think we see any other major shifts in the near term. Because the changes have already started about six months ago when the market bottomed in October, November of 2023. Um, I think this is more of a feel-good, symbolic moment because essentially you had someone at the top that was, you know, kind of at the leadership helm when a lot of bad decisions were made. With everything from Magic 30 to print runs to the moon because they just, they became disconnected with reality. And, you know, as all these things get kind of back under control... I'm not surprised to see these people at the top kind of, uh, as they say, the heads will roll or they'll reset or there'll be a cleaning of the house or all these terms that you want to use. doesn't matter. Um, I do believe moving forward, we will see more people leave at the top of Wizards and Hasbro. And I do believe, once again, that will be more positive news articles. <clears throat> now, um, for all of you out there watching this or LGSs or evil investors, maybe the 3% beautiful women in the world of magic, Wherever you are, whoever you are, overall, I don't think this is really going to impact 99% of the market, the people, the stores, the distribution chain, or anything. Um, because I think, like, I, I can, like, if you think about this, you can kind of visualize some of these conversations. Like, think about this. Imagine, like, all these collapses and problems and dist distributors were literally arguing with wizards and, like, there was just nasty behind-the-scenes meetings and things. And, like, imagine all these things going on, okay? And then imagine, like, someone like Cynthia saying... Well, you know, uh, I think, you know, I thought it was a good idea to dump everything on Amazon. And then all these distributors and stores are like, and because of you doing that, we are ordering less, and then you're fucking everyone over. So now, you have the snowball. You, you have that downward spiral. When you have those death spirals, it's so difficult to pull out of. Because essentially, 
once everybody knows you're overprinting, and once everybody knows you did Amazon dumps, and once everybody knows the secret layer machine is so red hot, once everybody knew these variables were in place, the market was just falling apart. And Wizards of the Coast sales were just becoming very rough. And then you saw Ravnica Remastered, the peak after the, the end of the crash there, was the first set to have pre-orders like November, December, was right at the bottom of the market, and it had the record lowest amount of pre-orders like in a new Magic set in like modern Magic history. I don't know how far back, I, I don't have the exact details. But it was the record lowest pre-orders in ages. And then I mean, Wizards had to come out telling distribution, hey, tell all your stores, no restocking collectors, we're, we're going to be hardcore. Like, they had to do memos to tell distribution, to tell sales reps, to tell stores, hey, you know, this is, this is, this is different, just to get stores to have confidence to order product. And Cynthia fucking Williams was at the top thinking, this is great. Fuck it. Doesn't work. Amazon. Bezos. Penis rocket. Oh, no. Nope. nope. Jeff Bezos. Yep. Nope. Nope. New ship. Yep. All right. Yeah. It's like all these things. The people at the top are responsible for signing off of these decisions because you have two scenarios. Either A, Cynthia didn't know it. That means she has no business doing the job. She's just disconnected and stupid. B, she did know it and thought it was a good idea. Which, again, shows she's disconnected and stupid. Both forks in the road lead to a bad leadership type of situation. We've said it for a while. These thousands of people working at the Watsi headquarters on the West Coast. These people work 24-7. Live, eat, and breathe magic. Artwork. Design. R&D. All these things. Okay? These are the backbone. All these employees are the true wizards. These are the backbone people that we should be giving hugs Mouth hugs, free tacos too. These are the back, but these are the true savers of magic. Not these corporate suits at the top where Cynthia has to have a CNBC and a fireside chat and she has to tell everybody about magic and the way she does that with Chris Cox is she reads the fucking Wikipedia article on what the definition of magic cards are because the woman was that disconnected. And I guess we'll end this video on this. I always wonder who on earth actually thought it was a great idea to put this person in charge. That's the kicker of the whole era of Cynthia Philip Morris Williams. That is the ultimate question I've always wanted to know. Who and why and what did they think was going to happen by pulling someone in who had no clue? Why would you do that? You can't tell me. There are not at least... A couple hundred people at that Wizards of the Coast corporate building that have been there for 20 to 30 years. You can't tell me that's not true. I know that's true. And why are those people not being pushed up? Why are they not working together with the head people? Why are they not, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Well, years ago when we did this, this shit didn't work. Oh, well, years ago we did this thing called Chronicles because... You know, oh, well, we then we did this reserve list thing because we had to get confidence back in the market for collectors and investors. Wait, did you say investors? You can't say that publicly. You know, like, you know, there are people there that no one understand. And that leaves us to the end of the chapter of Cynthia Williams. Again, I know nothing about her. I'm sure she could be a great person. But I don't respect her as a president or CEO of a company based on what the company did under her management. And that's all that really matters. Past that, as far as a regular human in the real world and how nice or evil or good of a person is, is indifferent. I don't give a shit. But that's the data of what this woman did or what happened with the company while she was in control will go down as a historical thing between Magic 30s and the most overprinted era of Magic. And again, we end this video, as I said, six months ago, seven months ago, 10 months ago, four months ago, two months ago, and this morning while taking a poop. I will tell you all the same thing. If a company like Wizards of the Coast does not throttle back their print runs, they will fucking fail. If they do not adjust their data, if they continue to try to recreate COVID era data points, print runs, and product lines, they will fail. And the people at the top if they cannot see that, they have no business being at the top. Rudy the janitor in the corner who sniffs the mail should have 
a better position than these people at the top, while all these regular employees are the backbone. Fortunately, that is a publicly traded company in corporate America, and unfortunately, the wheel in the sky of Hasbro owning Wizards of the Coast will continue to march forward. Have a beautiful day. Fuck it.